Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for being here to take part in this forum today uh, on RMB globalization and China's investment needs. My name is Peter Stein. Uh, I am head of Group Government Affairs for Asia Pacific at UBS, and I'll be moderating uh, the discussions this afternoon. One thing I just want to point out, um, today's presentations and panel discussion will be videotaped, thus the camera in the back of the room. But please note the video camera position is fixed. It'll be focused solely on the people on the stage. Uh, and in addition, uh, just for your reference, this event is closed to the media. Uh, now to kick off the program, it's my great pleasure to introduce the CEO of Asia Pacific at UBS and co-host of today's conference, Chi Wan Yoon. Chi Wan, as many of you know, has been at the helm of UBS in APAC as CEO for more than four years, overseeing our regional operations in 13 countries across seven and a half time zones. He also serves on the UBS Group Executive Board. Chi Wan has worked in finance since 1986, distinguishing himself first at Merrill Lynch and then at Lehman Brothers. And in 1997, he joined UBS in Hong Kong. Uh, and until be being named to the top job, he ran the region's equities and fixed income business. So Chi Wan, thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. And over to you to get us started. Thank you, Peter, for that kind introduction. And good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to UBS's special forum on RMB globalization and China's investment needs. We're delighted you could join us for the first conference organized and co-hosted outside of Switzerland by UBS and the new UBS International Center of Economics and Society at the University of Zurich. So once again, on behalf of everyone at the bank and the center, thank you very much for coming. Now, today's conference, I think it's fair to say, is particularly timely. As we all know, the growing internationalization of the renminbi and the steady opening of China's capital account is being watched closely by the financial world at large, by everyone from investors to fund managers to regulators, and more. They want to know what future steps China will take to ease restrictions on international capital flows and what implications will be for investors and markets. They also want to know if and when China will move towards full RMB convertibility, as the new leadership has promised. Now, I personally don't know the answers. But I do know we're fortunate this afternoon to have with us some of the best thinkers and doers on the topic, and they just might. For example, we're honored to have with us later on Professor Casey Chan, Secretary for Financial Services and Treasury of the Hong Kong government. Casey, as many of you already know, was instrumental in developing Hong Kong's vibrant offshore RMB market. So it will be especially interesting to hear his take on the subject. Now, luckily, we're also going to hear from Professor Zhang Song, who specializes in the Chinese economy at the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business, and will share with us from an academic perspective his views on the transformation of China's state-owned businesses. Now, UBS's own Thomas Fang will also join the discussion. Thomas is our head of equity derivative sales in Greater China, and he will speak from a business perspective on the growth of the RMB market offshore. Now, finally, I'm proud to introduce to you my co-host this afternoon, Professor Fabrizio Zilibotti, the academic director of the UBS International Center and a professor of macroeconomics and political economy at the University of Zurich. Now, Fabrizio is a specialist on the Chinese economy and has agreed to give us a macroeconomic perspective on international capital flows 
and China's role in them. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our co-host of the conference, Professor Fabrizio Zilibotti. Fabrizio.